Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From the Guardian under the main headline of Russia-Ukraine War. 2,389 children from Donetsk and Luhansk, kidnapped, by Putin's forces. U.S. Embassy says. Live. Summary of headline article. In early March, the Russian Defense Ministry admitted that 498 Russian soldiers had been killed in action and 1,500 wounded. A large number after just 10 days of fighting that pointed to the danger of its attempts to take Kyiv in a lightning raid. And amid an information vacuum in Russia, rumors have spread over the hundreds or thousands more who have been killed in the ensuing weeks. Units of the Russian armed forces enter the Kyiv region in this screen grab obtained from a video by Reuters on 3 March 2022. Photograph. Russian Defense Ministry. Reuters. It's almost a state secret, said a Russian military commentator. Who asked not to be quoted by name to discuss the issue. No other Russian news agencies reported the remarks. And it was not clear why Komsomolskaya Pravda alone would have access to that information. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of Heartbroken Families Tribute to Much Loved Baby Girl. Mauled to Death by New Dog. Summary of headline article. Bella Ray Birch was just 17 months old when she was attacked in her home in St. Helens. Merseyside yesterday. The child suffered fatal injuries after being attacked by the pet. Which the family only bought a week earlier. Image. Liverpool Echo. Liverpool Echo. Officers were called to a house on Bidston Avenue at around 3.50 p.m. yesterday. Image. Liverpool Echo. Liverpool Echo. At this stage we understand the family dog they had bought just a week earlier has attacked. Bella Ray in the family home. Image. SWNS. SWNS. During the incident the dog was handed over to police at the address and has been humanely destroyed. From Mail Online under the main headline of Boy. 3. Dies after. Tummy bug. Summary of headline article. But Alexander. Described as a joyous little boy. By devastated parents Emma Cooper and Darren Bowes. Died on Boxing Day. Doctors are still clueless after a post-mortem failed to uncover a reason behind his sudden death. What is sudden unexplained death in childhood? Charity SUDC UK estimates 40 children die unexpectedly in the UK each year. After being rushed to hospital. Alexander. Left. Pictured with his brother Freddy. Died that evening. From Mail Online under the main headline of President Zelensky says Italy must stop being a resort for murderers. Summary of headline article. Advertisement Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said Italy must stop being a resort for murderers and urged the country to ban Russian ships from its ports as he told lawmakers in a Video address that Ukraine is on the brink of surviving its war. He said, for Russian troops, Ukraine is the gates of Europe, where they want to break in. Draghi told MPs after Zelensky's speech, I want to say to President Zelensky that Italy is at Ukraine's side in this process. Zelensky pleaded with policymakers to step up anti-Russia measures including sanctions. Saying, more pressure, would help Ukraine's fight against the Kremlin. Draghi also celebrated the heroism, and dignity, of the Ukrainian people in contrast to the arrogance, of the Russian government. From BBC under the main headline of Russia Navalny. Putin critic jailed for nine more years in trial branded sham. Summary of headline article. Meta. The company that owns Instagram and Facebook. 
has been declared an extremist organization. More media outlets are regularly blocked and a new law that can lead to up to 15 years in jail for anything the authorities consider to be fake news about the military has led many independent journalists to leave the country. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of terror suspects emails asking to get to know Tory MP before murdering him. Summary of headline article. An aide of slain South End MP David Ames received an email from accused Ali Harbi asking for an appointment to get to know his MP, in which he promised he would not keep him long David Ames trial. Terror suspects emails asking to get to know MP before murder emails sent to Sir David Ames by the alleged terrorist accused of his murder has been read out to a court. Ali Harbi Ali, 26, exchanged a series of messages with his office, feigning interest in churches and healthcare to land a meeting with the South End MP. After confirming a noon slot for a meeting Ali travelled to Leon C. in Essex at Belfair's Methodist Church where Sir David was stabbed 21 times. Jurors were told Ali waved a bloody knife around before he was apprehended by unarmed police officers. She told Ali all the appointments had been taken but she would be happy to book him in for October. 15. From the Independent under the main headline of Ukrainian protesters try to block Roman. Abramovich's yacht from docking in Turkey. Summary of headline article. Protesters in a tiny inflatable dinghy attempted to block a yacht believed to belong to Roman. Abramovich is it docked in a port in Turkey. Video footage shared by Sispilne. Ukraine's public broadcaster. Shows a group of people sitting inside a small boat floating in the Aegean Sea as the £430 million yacht. Towers in the background. The vessel. Named Solaris. Docked at the port in southern Turkey after the Coast Guard forced the protesters to move. It's believed Mr. Abramovich has moved his superyachts to Turkey as the nation has not sanctioned. Russian oligarchs. Click here to sign up for our newsletters. From Mail Online under the main headline of Plane Passengers, Incinerated, on Impact. Summary of headline article. Advertisement Chinese recovery teams were today picking through the debris of a crashed China. Eastern jet after it inexplicably plummeted from the sky into a mountainside yesterday with 132 people on board. The deadliest Chinese commercial flight accident was a China Northwest Airlines crash in 1994, which killed all 160 on board. The Civil Aviation Administration of China, CAAC, and China Eastern both said they also sent officials to the crash site. Advertisement aviation data provider OG said this month state owned China Eastern Airlines was the world's sixth largest by scheduled weekly seat capacity and the biggest in China. The aircraft was delivered to China Eastern from Boeing in June 2015 and had been flying for over six years. From Evening Standard under the main headline of Met Police took on 100 offices with criminal records in past two years. Summary of headline article. Tihi Met is blighted by unacceptable failings in the way that it tackles corruption within its ranks and has recruited more than 100 officers who have committed offenses in the past two years alone. A report by the police watchdog has warned the offenses committed by officers hired in the past two years included wounding, theft and handling stolen goods. The Met's apparent tolerance of these shortcomings suggests a degree of indifference to the risk of corruption. If public confidence in the Met is to be improved, they should be among the Commissioner's highest priorities. The report was commissioned last year by Home Secretary Priti Patel.
The report concluded, however, that there was no evidence of any deliberate or coordinated attempts by the Met to frustrate the work of the Daniel Morgan Independent Panel. From The Guardian under the main headline of Corey McKeague died after getting into a bin on a night out. Inquest finds. Summary of headline article. Raf Gunner Corey McKeague. Who vanished on a night out in 2016. Died after getting into a bin which was then tipped into a waste lorry. An inquest has concluded. The airman. Of Dunfermline. Fife was 23 when he disappeared in the early hours of 24 September in Bury St. Edmunds, Suffolk, at the time of his disappearance. McKeague was based at Raff Honington, in Suffolk, about 10 miles from Bury St. Edmunds. On Friday 23 September, McKeague's friends at the base decided to go out in Bury St. Edmunds. His best friend Paul Robb, who served with him in the RAF, told the inquest McKeague slept under bin bags after a night out in Litchfield, Staffordshire, in 2014. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.